I find this interesting, guys. Three military rockets are going to be launched along the east coast. And they will be visible according to this article on space.com, which was published on the 13th of January 2014 and said that they would be visible the night of the 13th of January 2014. However, since the article was published, there's been an update from NASA who have gone on to say that it has been delayed due to weather concerns. And now the launch won't be until Wednesday, the 15th of January, between 1am and 5am Eastern Standard Time. And that it could be visible to observers in the mid-Atlantic region, weather permitting. And that it's on a hush-hush mission for the Department of Defence. But what I find really interesting about this article, guys, is that when you actually have a look at this photo of this rocket launch, it goes on to say... A NASA Terrier improved Orion sounding rocket roars towards space on a mission to create glowing red clouds above Earth on January the 29th, 2013. Create glowing red clouds above Earth on January the 29th, 2013. This information is mentioned nowhere else in this article. So I find that really interesting that they are mentioning that they are creating glowing red clouds. They give no reason why they're creating glowing red clouds. They're just telling us that this is what they are doing. And so I find that interesting, that they now move the launch to the 15th, and they mention glowing red clouds. And then we have Universe Today publishing an article on January the 14th, 2014, stating that... Uh, we may see a meteor shower from Comet Ison on the 15th and the 16th of January. Now, most people are speculating that Comet Ison fragmented after it passed the sun, and it did not. There is footage that shows the core was still very much intact. It may have lost some material, but it was still very much intact. And what we are seeing is actually the debris field that is moving with Comet Ison. Because Comet Ison is an electrically charged object. So it is basically attracting a debris field with it. And we have been experiencing this debris field before Comet Ison passed the sun. And this was the Russian meteorite that exploded and injured all of those people. This is all from the same debris field. And so I find that interesting that they're saying that we could see uh, some meteors from Comet Ison on January the 15th into the 16th. The very same night that we see the launch of the three military rockets and also the mention of the red clouds, the glowing red clouds. I just find that all very interesting. And I also find it interesting that when you look at the solar data, you can see that the energy transfer between us and our star has definitely changed. And we are resonating magnetically as the sun is flaring. And so I urge everybody to start learning how to watch the raw data and watch how we react to our star rather than hanging off the physics model from NASA which tells us that the Sun is an internally powered star and gives us the physics model of an eternally powered star based on their equations and this is why they continually get it wrong and this is why 
we need to understand that we have an electric connection with our star and sometimes the energy transfer is immediate. So we can't rely on the NASA physics model to explain to us the energy transfer between our star and us, you know, any longer. And I really do think that after the full magnetic reversal, it's going to be very hard for them to continually cover up the difference between what the sun activity is doing and how we are responding to that on our planet and in the data. So I will just continually watch that with interest, but as I said, I watch the data and I actually observe the data and there are other channels that observe the data and this is why we know that there is another source of energy that has been hitting our planet and particularly at the beginning of the year. And I would definitely uh, recommend everybody watch this video in regards to this pattern that we've seen at least since 2011 and it has continued on. And so again I find it interesting in the timing of all of these different elements and you know when we bring them all together I just find that it is something that I am going to be paying attention to. I'm not saying that we're going to see you know objects hitting our planet from Comet Ison but I am saying that we are being prepared for something. I'm not sure what that something is, but we are definitely seeing information being given to us to shape our perspective and our psyche. So I would just keep that in mind. All right, well, I will put all of the articles underneath, guys, including all of the um, data here. You know, you can get that on um, Noah, and I'll put the link here. And as I said, begin watching the sun yourself. And you can even actually look at this in relation to how sometimes you're emotionally feeling or physically feeling. I mean, sometimes people even feel this resonance physically. So, you know, you'd be surprised. But this is why, you know, if you are not open to the information, if you just want to hang off what NASA uh, tells everybody based on their flawed physics model, well then I suppose that um, you won't ever really have that understanding of the real energy transfer between us and our star. Alright guys, well I'll leave it here and as always, peace out.